Hello, I'm Jenna on behalf of the Art Workshop. Today I'm bringing you a sculpture lesson inspired by the famous sculptor and painter named Alberta Giacometti. His walking man sculpture is our inspiration today. Giacometti uses metal to create his walking man. Today we will be using aluminum foil. What's different from his sculpture from a regular man? That's right, his legs are super long. Also, he doesn't have any clothes, hair, or other details. Does he look like he's walking fast or slow to you? Where do you think he could be going? Today, we're gonna start with a shiny metal looking material that everyone has in their kitchen, aluminum foil. We're gonna fold that diagonally and cut that into a square. Turn your aluminum foil in front of you so it looks like a diamond. Draw a line from the right, left point, and bottom point in, but not touching in the center. Take a Kleenex or paper towel or tissue paper and roll up and start to smush around for the head. Make sure that you squeeze in to make a neck. It's okay if it gets a little too long because we'll just squish it in just a little bit more. Cut the lines that you drew. Using your hands, squish the foil into a long skinny shape on either side for your arms. Do the same on the bottom for your two legs. Don't worry if one leg is longer, just fold it up to match the other leg. Squish and shape your foil until you have a sculpture that looks like a person. As you continue to work on your sculpture, think about what your man or woman could be doing. Who is he or she and where are they going? What type of movement would they be making? How would their body be shaped? You might want to have a friend or family member pose for you so that you can mimic your sculpture to be shaped like their body is shaped. If parts of your body are a little thin, you can always add some extra aluminum foil. Make sure that you bend and make little hands and little feet. You can add accessories such as a skirt or a cape. It's totally up to you and your creativity. Now for an added feature. Let's make man's best friend. So we have to start out again with another square piece of aluminum foil. We're gonna draw two diagonal lines on each side, all coming into the center, very much like a sun. We're gonna cut on these lines so that we have space for four legs, a head, a body, and a tail. As we cut these diagonal lines, be careful with your aluminum foil because it is fragile and can tear easily. Once you have all of the lines made, we're gonna start with the legs. So to start with the leg, you wanna take the corner and start to fold and smush it up very carefully to make a little dog leg. For each corner, you'll need four legs for your little canine. You can take those centers and roll those in and smush those into the center so it has a body. And create those other legs. So keep shaping and forming as you go. It's okay if it doesn't turn out perfect. Practice makes better. So now we have a body we have four legs, we have a little tail. You can make your tail shorter or longer. And we're going to take some extra, or if you have tissue paper or extra aluminum foil, I'm gonna roll that up into a ball and place that inside the piece for the head so that the head is a little bit bigger than it would have been without. You can also take this extra piece of aluminum foil and cut some ears and glue that onto the top. What other ideas could you do? Maybe you could have a mom and daughter taking a walk or a father and son or you and your friend. You don't have to have a pet walking with you. But today I decided to make a dog just to show you how you could add an animal to your sculpture. Now looking at the walking man sculpture, it has a base for it to stand on. So if you would like to get a piece of cardboard for your sculpture to stand on, you can simply use a piece of cereal box, cut it into whatever shape you'd like, 
And as you form and shape your sculpture, you can attach it with hot glue, regular glue, or a staple. Enjoy looking at your sculpture from all different sides. And check us out at theartworkshopinc.net.